This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you everyday low prices with no membership fees. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to get $10 off any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike Magista Orden in the Volt Hyper Punch and Metallic Gold colorway. Now inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras. So let me get these out of the box really quickly. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the Nike Magista Orden with an N, not Ordem with an M like the ball. Two very similar names. I'm not sure Nike would, why Nike would do that, but they have. So if I say Ordem a couple times throughout the video, I apologize. It's just something that confuses me. And again, I'm just not sure as to why Nike would release the Orden with an N as a shoe and the Ordem with an M as a ball. It's just confusing me, but that's beside the point. So here is a look at the Nike Orden, uh, the Magista Orden, I should say. And this is essentially the replacement for the Trek Artista 3. It's just below the Opus, so it's technically the second takedown model in the line, although I wouldn't necessarily consider the Opus to be a takedown. And if you're comparing it to the rest of the Magista line, it doesn't necessarily compare to the Obra at all. It is essentially the takedown to the Opus model. The Obra really doesn't have a takedown because it's kind of a standalone in terms of what it is design-wise as well as material-wise. So what you're getting here is essentially a replacement for the Trek Quartista. It still features a 100% Kangalite synthetic upper, so in that regard, it's still very high quality. The Trek Quartista 3 from the CTR 360 line was one of very few takedown models that I actually thought was a very good shoe quality-wise, especially for the price, even if you were paying full retail. But with that being said, the retail price of a Trek Quartista 3 was anywhere around $100 to $110, whereas the retail price for the Orden has been raised to $130, which is significantly more um, and definitely does take away from the great value that is the, that was the Trek Artista. I still think this is a great value for a takedown model, especially quality wise, but also keep in mind that you don't have to pay full retail for any of these shoes. If you're interested in a pair of Ordens for yourself, check out the review page on my website. There's a link in the description. You can pick them up below the retail price with the right SR4U coupon code. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. With that being said, what you're getting here, like I said, is still a very high quality product. Starting off with the colorway, I will say that aesthetically, I'm not super pleased with this particular shoe. It does look very cheap, especially for a $130 shoe. For the most part, it has more of a matte finish. And what Nike has done here is they wanted to keep that uniform uniformity in terms of design coming from the Obra to the Opus to the obviously the Orden and they've maintained a, a similar texturing on the Kangalite upper and obviously they have that pattern printed on there as well going across the entire shoe and when it's not actually part of the upper you can see that it's part of the construction on the Obra in the flyknit material it's part of the construction in the Opus being that the top part is Kangalite it's Volt and then the underside material is mesh and it's got all the color in there so it looks like it's part of the shoe here it looks more like the shoe should be all Volt and then they just painted on these little dots which essentially is what they've done and again it just has a cheaper aesthetic to me especially in person i guess leave your thoughts down below in the comments but that's nitpicking and has nothing to do with the overall performance so again volt yellow base this is of course the launch color for the magista line your hyper punch pink right here it fades to more of a purple color in the forefoot and then eventually turns to black on the medial side on the medial side as well you're going to find more of a red nike swoosh with a black outline and then on the lateral side you're going to find another nike swoosh with a black outline along with that metallic pattern that metallic gold paint there, which actually is metallic and looks very, very cool. Accents well with the rest of the colors as well. You do have your Volt laces. The liner is a combination of black as well as Hyper Punch Pink. And you can see the sole plate is pretty much all Volt Yellow with some of the studs being black and other studs being Hyper Punch Pink. One more pink uh, Nike swoosh in the middle as well. So that's pretty much it as far as the colorway is concerned. As far as tech specs go, this is, like I mentioned, a full Kangalite synthetic upper. Kangalite is a synthetic material that is a premium synthetic from Nike designed to mimic the natural feel of kangaroo leather while still maintaining the benefits of a synthetic. So being that it's synthetic material, it requires no maintenance, it doesn't overstretch, it's more durable, um, it's a lot more lightweight, it doesn't absorb as much water, and for the, for the most part, it's just going to last a lot longer. But what's remarkable about Kangalite is it actually does feel a lot like natural leather. So if you don't want, uh, if you want a natural leather feel, but don't necessarily want to deal with the hassle that is a natural leather soccer shoe, this is definitely something to consider. And again, 
for a takedown model, the quality is still above and beyond most takedown models currently out there on the market. Unlike the Opus as well as the Obra, this does not feature ACC all condition control, even though it does feature the high end Kangalite synthetic, so please keep that in mind. And it also does not have that underlay material of mesh like you're going to find on the Opus model. So, again, solid Kangalite with some slight texturing on top just to give it that look. It may impact the touch a little bit, but for the most part, I think it's going to feel like a straight up Kangalite shoe, which is by no means a bad thing it's essentially a trek artista without the rubberized elements here on the medial side you have the exact same cut in the lacing system same cut in the heel an internal plastic heel counter as opposed to an external one like you're going to find on the opus and the obra so again a little bit of a downgrade there your magista branding there on the back the heel liner is made out of two different materials you have a smooth synthetic leather on the uh, lateral and medial side whereas the very back of the heel is a perforated synthetic leather material which actually feels very nice i'm happy with the liner it feels more premium than what we got on the Trek Rotista, which is definitely a nice thing. In terms of the insole, it is fully removable. Mesh liner, as you can see, Magista branding at the heel, and it's made from this very nice white foam. I almost prefer this white foam to the yellow foam we get from the Obra and the Opus, but of course I haven't worn it yet, so I don't want to say too many good things about it. But for the most part, it feels very high quality considering that this is a takedown model. Moving on to the sole plate and stud pattern, TPU plastic sole plate, nothing too special there. Pretty much the exact same layout as what we get from the Obra and the Opus, just not as aggressive in terms of these stiffeners here on the um, outside. And of course, it's not made from the same P-backs and compressed nylon that we get on the higher end models. It's just a plain old TPU plastic, which does feel more flexible. Let me actually move this little shoehorn here so you guys can see. It is definitely more flexible from right out of the box than something like the Opus or the Obra. So that is a good thing to a certain extent. It also is a little bit thinner. Um, you're going to see that the stud pattern also remains pretty much identical. Conical studs all throughout. They're very narrow, so they will penetrate the ground quite nicely. You have your uh, bladed uh, kind of support studs in the middle, and your one little mercurial-esque stud right there at the tip of the toe. It also has somewhat of a split toe design, even though that really has no impact on the overall feel or performance of the stud pattern uh, or sole plate. So that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs go. And move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. In terms of the weight of the Orden, it's surprisingly lightweight both in hand and on feet. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that they weigh in at 7.7 .7 ounces. So just a tad more than both the Obra as well as the Opus. Certainly not something that's going to weigh you down. And significantly lighter than most takedown models currently out there on the market. Especially from a shoe that isn't necessarily marketed as something particularly lightweight. It's lighter than the Veloce and in a similar weight range to that of the Hypervenom Fatal. So again, if you're looking for something nice and light with a natural leather touch that still maintains a synthetic upper construction, the Orden definitely seems like a pretty solid option in comparison to anything else in this particular weight range. So with that being said, let's move on next to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the Ordens on feet. And honestly, I'm really happy with how these feel. They're extremely comfortable. And in comparison to both the Obra and the Opus, don't feel quite as tight. I believe this shoe is still supposed to have the X1.1 last, just like the higher end models. But for whatever reason, this one does feel a little bit tighter. Maybe it's because the upper is a little bit more straightforward. There's not as much going on. But for the most part, it feels very similar to that of the Maestri 3. So if you wanted the next closest thing, from the Magista line to the Maestri 3, I would say the Orden is definitely the way to go, unless you just want to go the route of buying another pair of Maestri 3s until, of course, the stores run out. Um, so in terms of comfort, like I said, they feel very good. There's not really going to be much break-in time required. The Kangalite is soft and flexible from right out of the box. And in terms of width, because it is a synthetic material, because it isn't going to st stretch too much, as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, you should fit pretty comfortably into this shoe. There's a decent amount of width in the midfoot and forefoot area, whereas the toe box is slightly narrower. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, they fit quite comfortably from right out of the box. In terms of sizing, I'm wearing a size 9.5 US, which is a half size larger than I would normally wear. But it seems that the Opus, as well as the Orton and the takedown model below that, the Onda, I believe, are going to run about a half size small, whereas the top end Obra, uh, kind of fits true to size. So again, if you're looking to order any of the takedown models in the Magista line other than the Obra, they run about a half size small. So go half a size up. Normally I'd wear a nine, went up to a 9.5 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. 
All right, guys, this is it for my unboxing of the Nike Magista Orden. I can't say I'm too pleased with the price hike that Nike has given this particular model, but in terms of the quality, it maintaining that full Kangalite synthetic upper, I have to say that the performance aspects are definitely there. And in terms of takedown models that are going to actually perform well and offer high quality materials, this is still going to be one of the best options out there on the market. So again, if you wanted something as a replacement for the Trek Artista, or even something to replace the Maestri 3, this is out of the new Magista series gonna be the closest thing to the Maestri 3 in both feel as well as just overall performance. And again, as a takedown model, I can't complain too much about the quality because for the money it still is a really really good value so in terms of my full written review that will be coming in about a month's time once i get a chance to try them out but again it hasn't changed too much from the trek Ortista design wise so again the performance quality is definitely there i feel very comfortable recommending this to you if you're on a little bit of a budget but want something from the new magista lineup but again that review will follow in the meantime though if you want to check out the review page on my website you will find the high quality images of the shoe that'll give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person Person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online including exclusive sr4u coupon codes allowing you to pick them up below the retail price if you have any questions regarding the shoe at all be sure to leave them down below in the comments i will get an answer out to you of course if you enjoyed today's video be sure to support it with a like subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching